What's up all you fantastic dudes and dudettes, Toy Shiz here, and I got a really quick recap for you. We're going to be talking everything within the last couple days to really the last couple hours. It was a fantastic day for toy news, for entertainment news, a lot of new movies coming out, a lot of great action figures coming out. It is going to be an exciting fall into winter months, and I cannot be more excited. Now, first up, Hasbro was nice enough. They sent me over some very nice high-res images this morning, so thank you to them for that. They're going to be doing something a little bit different as far as a Black Series exclusive goes. It's going to be over in Germany, France, all those different Comic-Cons first, and then within limited quantities, it will be available via the Hasbro Toy Shop. I'm, of course, talking about the brand new they're calling it the Han and Leia 2-pack. I'm calling it the Hoth Love Set because that is exactly what it is. You're getting a beautiful Princess Leia action figure and you're getting an amazing Han Solo figure. They're going to come with four weapons, two each. Basically accessories if you want to say that. But it's going to be a great set nonetheless. And it's a little bit interesting because the U.S. is not going to be getting it first. So it's going to give other collectors, European collectors, all that good stuff, the first ability to kind of get something. And you know what? To be quite honest, we're going to get it in the U.S. Just got to be patient. But it's kind of nice to see Hasbro taking an interest into outside countries and letting them have action figures first. So I'm all on board with that. And I'm really happy, again, that they're kind of just saying, you know what? U.S. has always got the good stuff. Canada recently has been getting a lot of great stuff. Mexico has been getting some good stuff. But let's pay attention to other countries. So I'm very happy about that. I did a recent review. Thank you to NECA Toys for sending it over. I got the Tim Curry It figure for review. It's actually a really great figure. A couple hiccups here and there, some top heaviness, both in the figure and some of the accessories. But if you want the full review, go ahead and head over to my YouTube channel. I will, of course, have the link here in the description. Or if you're a fan of my channel, if you've uh, hit the notification bell, then you may have already seen it. But rest assured, give it a look. I, I like the figure. I think it's great. I think it's a great representation of Pennywise, but really watch the video to kind of see an in-depth look, I'm just saying. Storm Collectibles, man oh man, they had a big like teaser announcement today. I'm really excited for this. Golden Axe, if you're a big fan of the old video game property, mainly on Sega Genesis, I believe they had two, three, mm, I think that's about it. I, wasn't, I don't think there's a fourth one, but they're going to be doing some Golden Axe action figures don't know exactly what exactly they're going to be doing but it looks awesome because everyone loves golden axe it was a blast of an arcade game and if when you finally brought it home on the home consoles man that game was rocking i can't wait to see what they're going to do storm collectibles don't really have any i hear the greatest of things from everybody especially with those mortal Kombat figures so i'm excited to see what they're going to be doing with that shout out to mcu collector 24 isn't he great the uh he was at his target today and he came across the neca toys the fugitive predator from the new shane black movie that is looking great that's a massive looking figure really really stoked to finally find that in stores and also another uh nick uh <laughs> neca it figure the the scars guard one the recent 2017 it he looks great hitting a little bit harder within the target store so Depending on from now until the fall winter months, you'll be able to find this figure on Target shelves. Really, really stoked. Again, can't wait to find either of them. Also, in kind of like weird news, okay, so everyone was really, really happy slash kind of angry that NECA Toys is going to be doing the Ninja Turtles from the SDCC box set as four individual GameStop exclusives. People went nuts last week trying to pre-order. There was a thing with shipping. GameStop, if you are listening, you really need to cut it with that shipping thing. So many companies offer free shipping these days, and you're trying to really, really, for lack of a better term, you're trying to screw collectors out of getting some extra money from them. And you know what? You know it because I talked to the guy on this phone when I had you change my shipping, and they are fully aware of the problem. Even the guy kind of laughed. He goes, wow, why would you ever pay $22 for shipping? Exactly right. So either cancel your orders, I would say, and reorder it via this. It's not a box set. It's just the four figures bundled together. You're not going to get extra accessories, nothing like that. It's just the four figures all in one go. You're going to pay $7 for shipping, and that's a heck of a lot better than waiting 45 minutes on the phone like I did to change it to the $5.99 shipping when you can just pay 7 and get it done. These things will be out February 1st, it says, of 2019. 
Shout out again. This is all, I love this. Everybody has just been really helping and, and finding great news and all of it just kind of collaborating. This is awesome. Action figure junkies, man oh man, find this guy. <laughs> you know who you are. Find him, the Invisible Man Pop from Walgreens. The poor guy's been making videos for like the last two weeks. I, every time I see one, I watch it, I'm like, this is going to be the day. He also came across and... I'll be honest with you, I was really hoping they were going to do these uh, this, again this year, but I hadn't heard anything, and Diamond Select hasn't posted anything. I have been scouring the internet trying to find any information on these things. They're not on the Walgreens website. But Nightmare Before Christmas is coming back to Walgreens with three exclusives. Now these are basically repackaged from the uh, line that was at Toys R Us this past year and subsequent into this year, but we all know what happened to Toys R Us. You're going to be able to get minute uh, not uh, just reduced basically reduced figures they're ten dollars each still in the same sc uh, scale and everything but you're going to get the pumpkin king pajama jack with zero and then you're going to get a three pack of lock shock and barrel i'm really really excited for these can't wait to find them all the halloween stuff is coming out so stoked can't wait to see what else they're going to have on store shelves in talking again about the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years figures that have been recently seen on clearance. Shout out to Fernie underscore Fern underscore on Instagram. Go ahead and hit him up. He's been great. He found a couple of the different Marvel Studios sets for a considerable reduced price. Now, users, you have to understand, these aren't at every single target, nor is this like some big ruse. Like some people, I saw you. Uh, we're trying to distribute and think like, you know, you're trying to spread. I, I just, but see, here's the thing. I don't understand why you would think that. Why would I waste my time talking about fake stuff? Fernie's always on the level. He's a great guy. He always finds rad, rad deals. So shout out to XX Omega Doom XX. Okay. He goes, he uses Fernie's receipt. This is what you want to do. You can attempt it. It's not going to work for everyone because not all the targets are the same. It really just depends on if you can catch a really good employee on a great day. That's what it's going to come down to. Go to the store. Take this receipt picture. Take one of Fernie's picture of him scanning it under the barcode reader, right, with the price. Show them these two pictures politely and take the merchandise with you, right? Find the Cap and Crossbones. Find the Thanos 3-pack. Those are the only two that I've seen on sale so far in that sense. Ask them, hey, can you please price match this? Would this be great? It sure would make my day. Be very courteous. And you know what? I guarantee you it probably will work. And if he doesn't work at that target, go to your next target. Go to the target after that. All right? Just try. That's the best thing you could do. And that's the best piece of advice that I could offer. Smile. Compliment them. Have a great day. And that's all I'm going to say is I hope it works. And I hope you get reduced priced figures because that's what Toysh's is all about. So good luck out there. And thanks to those two dudes and everyone else that's wrote in and been pleasant about it. To the other people... I don't know what to tell you. I want you to have lower price figures and you got to fight about it. I, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't know why, but I hope you guys get your figures as well. Shout out to at Victorious Cantina and also at Starfish JGS. They were cool enough. They found, all right, the Mattel Quest for the Indominus Rex for $40 up on Walmart.com. Posted it. I saw it. Ordered one myself. It's I already got the email notification, so it should be to me on Friday. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be home on Friday, so I will get to the review and subsequent showing it off whenever I do make it back. So, <laughs> as you can tell, I'm kind of out of town right now. But, like I said, these figures, right, if they go up again, make sure you grab one. Not saying they're going to be rare or anything. We're not doing a Spinosaurus, you know, sort of deal, which I will get to in just a second. But, just saying that these figures will not be available until the fall, winter, again. They're going to be kind of hard to sore to find, okay? They're Walmart exclusives. So take that exactly how you would collect Star Wars exclusives or Marvel Legends exclusives because Walmart has a notorious reputation of not really stocking things on time. So if you can see them again, they already yanked it down. They yanked it down about probably an hour after they had posted it. It was kind of a goof on Walmart's part. I spoke to the powers that be, and they assured me that, hey, this was a complete fluke, but they will be honoring people's orders. So, fingers crossed, I'm just going to say, what I ordered shows up, we'll see soon enough on Friday. Now, we're going to go back to the hashtag save the spino. A lot of people have been saying, where's your sources? Why do you guys need sources? Why would I waste my time? I've been seeing a lot of that with different toy news 
you know, stations and things like that. Everybody wants to see this proof. I, I would not, honestly, honestly, you guys, I would not waste my time, your time, nor a reputation of coming at you with great news. Why would I do that? So let me just reassure all of you, unless you tell Target that you guys really want to see the Spinosaurus, you repost, you talk about it, you get the word out there, just keep bugging them, keep bugging Target. It has nothing to do with Mattel. Mattel wants you to have this figure. So U.S. production of this figure will cease, all right, until further notice. And most likely it will not come because by then we will be so far out of production that they really won't order anymore. They're all going to go over to Europe. They're over at Smythe's Toy Store. If you've seen eBay or any of the other sites and things selling this figure, two, three, God, $340, something like that. You don't want to spend your money on a $340 Spinosaurus. You want to spend $25. You want to get it normal. So tell Target, hashtag save the Spino. It's not a joke. You will not be getting this figure unless you speak up. So I want the figure. I'm sure you do too if you're a Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. And I want it because it's a really cool dinosaur from Jurassic Park 3. So get on it. Let's do this together. And as a community of collectors, let's really tell Target what we want. Big, big news. Now, when I say big, big news, let's let's talk about this. Back up. Backtrack. Captain Marvel, right? Brie Larson tweeted at e Entertainment Weekly. Let's break the internet, right? It was a big tweet. Everyone was really excited. I was thinking trailer. The trailer's not going to really hit until like October, November. I thought maybe they were going to do something earlier, but no. It's really just a bunch of Entertainment Weekly official photos, right? So it's really cool. We got the first image. She got the costume. We all knew this was really going to happen. Blue and red. Looks straight out of the comic. Looks amazing. She looks amazing. Very, very stoked to see where this is going to go. You have a picture of Maria Rambeau. Maybe we're going to be seeing Monica Rambeau. So that's really cool. I hope that they eventually get to that character as well. Scrolls. Man, we are getting scrolls. They're coming out of the water. They look like some kind of Creed cover band. <laughs> but hey, it's really cool. Some people have been comparing them to like a Star Trek character here and there. I'm happy we're getting scrolls. Can you guys just be happy that we're getting cool stuff? Come on, quit wasting your time moaning about it. Let's do something cool and let's come at it as fans and be like, you know what? Marvel knows what's up. We're never in bad hands with Marvel. If they screw this up, then we should have something to worry about. But come on, when, <laughs> when have you seen a bad Marvel movie in the last four or five years? Come on, that's all I'm saying. Be excited. Get excited for Captain Marvel. It's going to be a great interlude into Infinity War 2. I was able to pick up a Mexican Masters of the Universe. I think it's a bootleg. It also looks to be... The guy couldn't really tell me what it was, but I'm very happy to you know have it, one, with my collection. I like things like this. I like getting kind of sort of weird stuff. It's just something that, you know, after I went to PowerCon, which also thank you again to Val... Everyone at PowerCon, PowerCon was amazing and so happy to meet Pixel Dan. Pixel Dan, thank you for the shout out on your video. I very much appreciate it. You're a rad dude and I'm very happy to have met you. Cool, cool times. The PowerCon people, they were nice enough. They were like, hey, thanks for coming. Here is a slime muscle can from Super 7. Go ahead and review it. Talk about PowerCon. I had a blast. I think PowerCon is a very excellent convention. It's for fans of a particular type of... And that's all it is. It's not SDCC where you got a million different things. It's all about Masters of the Universe, a little bit of Thundercats, She-Ra, all that kind of good stuff thrown into the mix. And it's a perfect blend of just people celebrating Masters of the Universe. And I dug it a lot. Enough to say that I've been kind of scouring to pick up a couple Masters of the Universe figures. So if you have any recommendations or if you just want to talk Masters with me, I really need the knowledge because when it comes to Masters, and I'm just being real, real honest right here, I ain't the most knowledgeable on that, and I'd like to fix that because I'd like to talk about it more with all you guys. The other big thing, Funko Toys is doing the Thundercats Savage World figures. They look amazing. You have Mumra, you got uh, Panthro, and Slythe, and then, you, of course, you have Lino. He looks fantastic. I pre-ordered them all on Amazon. If you want the link, I can repost it here. Go, go get them because they are going to be rad. They're in the old He-Man style. It's really cool. I think they're great, and I think they're going to look great next to the other Savage World figures that they got going with the more artistic take with the horror figures, and I believe, I want to say a quick shout out 
to not another retro channel. I believe he found his and he tagged me. So thank you very much for that. I meant to post about him. He found them at his Think Geek stores. Don't have any here on the West Coast. But if you want these Savage World figures with the new horror figures, head over to your Think Geek and go ahead and check out his review. I believe he has one up as well. Love your channel, man. Thanks again for tagging me. Burt Reynolds died. That is a total shame. Such, such cool dude in the search of never knew him. But he was a great actor. Always did cool roles. Loved him in Boogie Nights. <laughs> if you haven't seen that movie, it's not for kids. So kids, ask your parents if you're watching this. But uh, it's a fantastic movie. I definitely recommend it. And then of course, also the classic, Smoking the Bandit. You gotta check that movie out if you haven't seen it. What are you doing? Go and watch it immediately with this review. Also, I picked up a 6-inch, 7 points of articulation banner in his Hulkbuster from Infinity War. It's a good size. Kind of, sort of. I just liked it. I thought I'd put it in with my Marvel Legends collection. I'll be talking about it later on in the week, but I just thought if you guys see it, it's the first time I saw it on the shelf, so I grabbed it. If you see it, grab it. It's pretty, pretty cool. I like it. Also, I got this blue Venom with these, you know, it's like the workout power <laughs> strips or whatever. I, I know I wrote it down correctly on my, uh, on my Instagram post, but it's too funny. He squeezes his legs and he goes back and forth. But what I really like about it is Venom looks great as a blue action figure. So Marvel Legends team, Hasbro peeps, if you're listening, you want to do a Venom Wave 2, which I'm sure you're going to do, just saying, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, <laughs> um, do a blue Venom. I'm just going to say, I, th I think that would be a great, great, great figure to have. And when you guys, to finish this video off, if you guys are done, messing with your awesome new Spider-Man PS4s with the new Spider-Man PS4 game, which I'm insanely jealous about. God dang, Sony, you think you did a great job. It's like the Arkham series. I'm hearing great, great things about it. I can't wait to play it, which means I got to get a PS4, which is not really a bad thing, but I really just don't have any time. With the, with the time I have for work and then toasting all this stuff and yada, yada and toys and being a nerd, I don't know, man. I got to get myself a PlayStation and at least try and play this thing because... I'm very excited about it. Let me know in the comments below how you like it. Is it great? Which skin is your favorite? I'm seeing all the great costumes. That's why I made that post about which is your favorite costume because there's really so many. So with that, I will leave you. Thank you guys for listening. If you made it this far, thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't hit the notification bell, make sure to hit the like button. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, at Toyshiz. Email me anytime, toyshiz at gmail.com. Always happy to talk toys with you, any questions at all, never be afraid to hit me up. I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend. Drink some good coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, find some great action figures. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll catch you guys later. Adios. Mm -hmm.